Hello everyone, my name is Michael Schumann and I'm going to be teaching you how to create a login system in Unity 3D. Um, so I've gone ahead and created a blank project called Login Tutorial. You can call it whatever you want, it can be your main project. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder called Scripts. Um, and inside that folder I'm going to be even more organized and call this Login Scripts. All right. Um, main login, or login. Um, I gone ahead and created a C sharp script. So if you need to do, don't know how to do that, you can just right click, um, and then go under create, and then C sharp script. All right. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and double click it to open it in Mono Develop. And we're gonna want to remove um, update. And we're going to leave start. And I like to um, make a comment at the end of all these uh, methods so that I know when they're done. Because sometimes it can get a bit confusing if you don't. I'm also going to create a section for public variables. Oops. I'm also going to create a section for static variables. and then a section for private variables. I'm going to, at the top, type um, the number pound, right, and then region. And then after that, what this will do is it'll allow you to close out a certain region. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain without showing you, so let's just finish typing this. Um, this region is going to be called variables. Now let's go down to the end of all the variables and type end region. And this is just how I like to set up all my scripts. Um, it makes it a whole lot easier on me. And um, as you can see now, we can close out if we don't need to see all the variables. So first thing I'm going to create is um, public static um, string email. Um, public static string password and we're gonna go ahead and press I mean type equals and then just quotation marks if you don't do that I found it causes problems sometimes um, I don't think we need any other static variables so let's just go ahead and go down to public um, we're gonna create um, public float X Oops, forgot the semicolon. Public float y. Public float width. Public float height. And I'm going to go ahead and actually remove remove these from the public variable section and put this into GUI test section because this will be our script that creates the user interface. Um, and what I like to do with these under the test section here is um, I create variables so that we can easily move around whatever GUI object we're creating for the moment. Um, so you can get the scale properly in the testing, testing area instead of messing around with numbers and going back and forth. Um, it just makes it easier on you. Um, then we're going to need a private variable. I'm trying to think of what it was. Um, we have email, password, x, y. Oh, we're going to need a private variable. Oops, not st private string, right? All right. Um, URL. So create account URL. Private string login URL. Now we will be filling these in later but for now we can leave them empty and what these are going to do in the end is contain the link for our PHP script. Uh, this will be using PHP in MySQL so um, yeah let's continue on though. Um, we can go ahead and close that region now. Go ahead and move this up like so. Um, void 
on GUI, like so, main GUI function. end on GUI and then we're going to create another region region custom methods end region now I uh, I like to put these on the side and do everything else over here so we're going to create another method called void login GUI And another method called create account GUI. Now let's comment. Um, this method will be the GUI for creating the account. This method log in the accounts. End login GUI. End. And now that should be all set for us to get started. So let's create another variable. Um, we'll, we'll make it public for now so we can test public string current menu equal login um, if current menu login oops login Um, else if current menu equals you have to do two equals for when you're in an if statement um, equals create account all right um, in that case we're going to call our create account function and we're going to call in here our login function um, so I'm just going to explain this in comments. If our current menu is equal to login, then display the login menu by calling our login GUI function. Else, display the create account GUI by calling its function. There you go. Um, yeah, I kind of get crazy with my comments, but when you're when you're programming, you will be thankful for yourself doing it at some point because scripts can get pretty long and pretty confusing. Um, and now we need that that sets that up that's perfect now um, so under login GUI this is our start GUI let me um, just check if I spelled that right I did um, so we're gonna want GUI dot box new rect which means new rectangle um, and we're gonna want to spell login under here this is basically like uh, a name for the box. It'll display it. You could leave it empty and it won't show anything. I'll show you both. Um, so we're going to make our X here because the first, as you can see, with the autocomplete pop-up, you get left, top. So left is the X axis, top is the Y axis, and then width and height. So Y, width, oops. Now you're going to want to use the one that has capitalization because that is our variable, not the system. Um, now let's go ahead and test this out. If we go in here and we click on our camera and we drag in our script like so, 
we should get something on the top right corner. I don't know if you can see it, but if we move it over and we scale it up just in the editor like so, you can see it now like that. Now we can move it over, move it down 120, 400, and 210. No, 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 no. This one's going to be 300. We'll move this back over. 350. 300. No, not 300. Um, 350. And we'll make this 400. And move it over again to 300. And 325. Uh, 320 is good. So now we have our numbers. Let's go ahead and move this over here. Um, we're going to use x is 320, y is 120, 400, and 350. Now what you could do is this, um, under width and height, oops, screen dot width divided by 4. Screen dot height divided by four plus and plus and we'll just we'll experiment a little bit with that just to see. Um, I might get rid of it just for the sake of simplicity here. Um, uh, that doesn't look terrible. Um, we could probably mess with the height, make this probably 250, make this 350, um, and then, you know, it's pretty cool, I didn't notice that Unity 3D was doing that now, it'll update the scripts right away, that's pretty neat, it wasn't doing that before, um, but we can minus this again, 200. That's better. We can just leave it at that and maybe move this over a little bit. Oh, you know what? I think that's the wrong way. 250. Let's try that. That was the wrong way. I was right. But let's make this 270. No, let's do 280. That looks good to me. I'll just leave it like that. And now we are free to use our variables again if we need them, um, which we will. Uh, but as you could see, there was no text in the box. Now if we put text in the box, we can do that. Like we talked about earlier. As you can see, it now shows login in the box. Um, we can leave it like that. That's good enough. Oops. So, create box to simulate window. Now we're going to want to we're going to want to create two buttons so if gy dot button new rect um, uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste this here and do it twice just because we need two buttons um, we're gonna want this button to uh, hold on I'm just readjusting here we're gonna want this first button to be create account and then we're going to want the login button so log in like so um, x y width oops height um, and we'll leave that one with a 0 comma 0 comma 0 
like so and we can leave it like that and test it out and let's now move this where we want it which is right about there 360 370 115 no 120 20 120 and 25 yeah that's good right there so let's bring this over and do our thing again um, 370. I'm just going to leave it like that so I don't have to do the screen dot width because you guys can do that and adjust it how you need for your own game. Um, this is just for the login system itself. Um, height is 25, and there we go. There you go. Now we can make this 25, 120. 360, oops, and 450. Uh, that's too much. Five hundred ten. That is perfect. Uh, maybe 520. That's perfect. All right. So now we have two buttons, and currently they're not doing anything, but one is going to log us in, one is going to create an account, or bring up the create account menu, which we can set up right now. So create, you know, current menu equals create account. Now what this will do is when you press this button, it will um, oops, make this call create account GUI, which will then open the create account GUI instead of the login GUI. So, yep. Uh, I'm actually just going to Oop, that's the wrong uh, button. <laughs> like so. Um. And there we go. Now if we test this out, when we press the create account button, all of this should disappear because at this point we will not be using the login GUI. There you go, it's working. And as you can see, the current menu is now create account. Um, so now we need um, to create our login and mean I'm email and password field. Email equals GUI dot text field new rect now we can go in and adjust our settings because now we should have a text field just like so. Now we can adjust these numbers again. So this is 23, 220, 225, and 390.
Now we can type in our email address at AOL.com, whatever, you know. Um, now we need a label, gy.label, new rect, comma, email, like so. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, now we need to duplicate this. So control C, control V, um, and we'll make this now password. Password equals gy.text field. Um, we're gonna want 390 um, and 225. We're gonna make this 325 and we'll change this to password. We'll come up here, we'll change the text to password. Um, that is too far down, so we'll go ahead and make this 250. That's too close, so we'll make it 300. Let's try that. That looks uh, almost right. 275. We'll do 280, and then the label needs to be, this is three, 225, so 250, we'll try. Oops. 260. Oh, you know what? Uh, 225, so it's 25 below. Two fifty five. That's better. That's perfect. All right. So now we have this set up. Um, now when we press the login, it'll use these two. Um, first thing we are going to need to do now is now we need to create the create account GUI, um, which shouldn't take too long. Um, we can pretty much just duplicate everything in login except we're just going to change a few things around and add a few things um, two things so let's go ahead and just copy this all of it and we'll go ahead and get rid of the buttons so actually we're not going to get rid of them we're going to move them down a bit though like so um, We'll make this button a create count. We'll leave it that as is because that's pretty much fine. Um, and then we'll create a back button so that you can go back if you're so current menu equal login like so. Now you should be able to uh, go back like so. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Uh, now we're going to need two more of these in here. Um, we're going to want uh, this email password and now now we need to create two more down here. Like so. And our last was so. So we're adding 30. Yep, that looks good. So now, th 
three, three, um, forty. Like so. And there we go, that's that. Um, we're going to want now a 370 and 400. And now we should be all set. Yep, all right, perfect. So let's go ahead and change these all around. Confirm email and confirm password. Now let's create bot protection and we can do that after for now. Let's just add that note in a comment. Um, so now we have password. We need to create some more variables. Um, private string confirm pass equals that. Private string confirm email equals that. And then we need a whole separate email for public Actually, no, we don't need that to be public. We can make this private. Um, private string C email equals that and private string C pass word equals that. Now, the C email and C password are for create email and create password. We're making them separate so that, you know, if one, if you go into login, and type something in and then you go to create account they won't equal the same value basically um, I find that can happen sometimes or I found but yep and then confirm pass and confirm email is to um, confirm your password and confirm your email so yep now we're gonna want to move these buttons in the create account could we to the bottom gonna undo what I just did uh, password all right let's go ahead and copy this now under open and create account window we're gonna want Start coroutine. We don't have our coroutine yet, so I'll just leave it like so. Um, current menu equal login. Um, but under this button, we're going to want another if. If confirm pass equals equals um, C email, I mean pass, C pass. And so for an and, we want two and signs. And confirm. Oops. Confirm email equals C email. So now we can change this to C email. This to C email. C password. C password. Confirm email. Confirm email. And then confirm password and confirm password. Um, now, this will make sure that. Um, your confirm email and your confirm password are the same as your original email and password. Um, and now under else, we don't actually need an else. We need actually under else we can do uh, 
current menu. Equals. We want this to be. You know what, actually, we can start another coroutine so that it does this timed. Start coroutine, you'll understand why we're doing this after. Um, but we'll leave it like that for now, and there will probably be some errors because we haven't added anything in start coroutine. Um, but that's fine, I know there's no errors in our code. Um, and then, that's all set now. And create, create account. Um, and that should handle our GUI. If I just comment these out, we can test this. And perfect. Everything is working how I want it, and that should handle... Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Under GUI.box, let's change this from login to create account. Now let's try it out. There we go. So you can see the back button works, um, and did everything. Everything looks great. Um, that's all I have for this tutorial in specific. Um, the next tutorial will handle finishing up that script, um, and then handle getting PHP and our coroutines um, figured out, um, which means MySQL first. So we'll set up the MySQL database instead of you know the PHP script first, and then the last tutorial will be dedicated to the PHP scripts. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.